<laughs> now weeks that you've been here. Uh, we need to get back to a return back to basics uh, of safety as reflected in the, uh, the current safety stand down that you are going to see posted and distributed. We're trying to get that out, uh, especially to the uh, CAL FIRE folks who are required to complete that at some time. Um, so we need to go back, make sure we review on our 10 and 18. Uh, I did have an opportunity to spend some time with our new arrivals from out of the country, uh, with sort of agency reps in the audience here today. A uh, good group of folks we need to share with them, especially those of you from this area, the local weather conditions and, and terrain and topography and those kind of things that affect fire behavior and be sure they're safe. Uh, the weather's changing and we probably haven't seen this kind of weather pattern. I'm guessing I'm new to the incident for quite some time. So as the marine layer moves in and, and the weather does change, we'll need to pass that information on to everyone. So uh, be safe. We are starting to see yesterday uh, early and also yesterday afternoon a couple of accidents that are happening off the fire line. So as we get tired and we get uh, a little bit stressed for being here a while, uh, we need to be just as safe uh, washing engines on wash racks and driving down the freeway as we are uh, tromping around out on the fire line. So uh, be safe. Uh, have a good day. Uh, Finance Section Chief Rich Boehm, who was here from the start, has transitioned out for 10 days of vacation. Uh, our new Finance Section Chief is Deanna Lyman. She's in the back. She'll be available around 10 o'clock after we do some transition. Uh, the most important thing I have in finance for today is uh, we have a federal timekeeper in for all the uh, federal resources now the state resources and she's uh, in the finance section for the first table on the left when you come in thank you all right here we go good morning all right you guys missed me yesterday yes. oh right on well that's nice to be missed i had a day down and uh thank you for being patient with us on that one a day to reset's an awful nice thing and hopefully uh, you guys are taking opportunity for that as well it was good it wasn't long enough, I'll be honest with you. Um, just a, a couple of interesting things. You've heard about a safety stand down, a safety bulletin. Those, uh, that information is uh, basically aimed at heat related injuries, okay? Over the North State, there's been quite a few folks, as you can imagine, with the activity that we have, the long duration of the incidents, and uh, the stress that's put on our bodies, this heat related uh, illness, um, percentages have gone way up. So in, uh, in response, as all good government entities do, we have a little uh, program that everyone's going to have to complete. CAL FIRE, we're supposed to be documenting all this stuff on an IIPP6, uh, what we're going to handle here on the incident, because that's part of policy as well, is we're going to do widespread posting. So you're going to see this everywhere. It's about three or four pages, a little too big to stick in the IAP. So just take an opportunity when you're going through the feeding line or you're wandering by some sort of a display board, you should see it there. And I thought it was interesting. Uh, look for the reference about chocolate milk and tell me what that says tomorrow, okay? Give you something to look at. I'm serious. Okay, uh, you've heard some interesting things going on through the course of the incident. We've got folks from uh, out of state. Usually you get an out of county response, that's, uh, that's a big deal. But now we've got folks from out of state. Uh, we've got folks from uh, Canada providing line overhead. And uh, yesterday we received an offer from the country of Mexico to send crews and engines. And uh, I got a call from North Ops and said, Joe, guess what? You still need crews and engines, don't you? So that may, may happen. That's kind of an interesting flair. So we'll see what happens with that one. More on that tomorrow. Uh, so that means we got Canadians, National Guard, out-of-staters, maybe uh, folks from Mexico. I've never seen this in all my time. I've been doing this since 1974 or so. It's a big deal. Everyone's doing a good job about getting along, playing nice with one another. We've had very few instances, and actually I'm, I'm surprised. It's a tribute to everyone that's working out here because you are taking this seriously. Taking care of one another, offering a brother or sister a bottle of water when you're out there on the line, and continue to do that. That's, that's a big help. And we're in this for the long haul. Now you've heard that for about almost three weeks now. That's going to continue. So thank you. Appreciate your work. You guys have a safe day.